Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dima Snipe. So today we're gonna be we're gonna be making a light switch that comes out of the wall. I know a lot of people make ones that come out of the ceiling, but you really don't see too many uh, tutorials on how to make a light switch that comes out of the wall. And so this video is gonna be covering how to do that. And so first off, I'm gonna show you a preview of what you're gonna be getting for you watching this video and what you came here to watch. So if you look right here, you can see it's just like a normal bookshelf, but this one extrudes a little bit farther. If you come over here and press the lever, you can see that this turns into glowstone and then it all lights up. And this is really nice to have in your house because a lot of people get, I mean, somebody could join your game and be like, oh, dude, how'd you do that? He goes, oh, yeah, because I'm just awesome like that, you know? And so we're going to get started. Some of, the, some of the materials that you will need, you will need sticky pistons, glowstone, bookshelves, redstone, redstone torches, redstone, wait, redstone repeaters, redstone torches, levers, and stone. And then maybe a couple blocks of dirt just in case you mess up. Okay, so let's get started. So you can do this with any size wall, but the size I'm gonna be using is gonna be nine long. So right here, if you look, I already have a lot of it set up, so you don't have to watch me build the stuff that you really don't need to watch me build. So if you, you come nine long, just like this, this is nine long, and then you wanna come out, come back four, then on this fourth block you want to go down two so on the fourth block coming back go down two and then uh, after the wall go back three just like this so you want to take your sticky pistons out and in the spot where you dug down two you want to play sticky pistons you can see if it's perfectly in there and you can put a bookshelf on these and then you can cut out the one in the middle because we're not going to be de needing this one and that's why it's nine so you have the middle platform or the middle shelf and then behind these you want to place another row of sticky pistons right here again ignore the middle one just like we did there and then what we want to do we want to take our redstone repeaters out and we want to put a redstone repeater behind each sticky piston just like this and then put redstone behind them connecting all of them and then come through the middle and you might have to clear out a couple uh, things right here just so you have room for your redstone repeaters and your redstone so just clear out two spaces in front of these sticky pistons just like this again pick your redstone repeaters out and place them behind each sticky piston and then connect them with redstone just like this and then connect the redstone through here and then I would put a redstone repeater right here just so it continues the circuit you don't have to worry about them uh, shorting out and the redstone not reaching there so you can put another row of bookshelf book bookshelves bookcases right there and then you can take your stone and place stone right here and right there in the middle where there isn't a bookshelf so now we're going to come back around and then this we're going to add the glowstone next and but we're going to need some more sticky pistons so for this one you want to come out from the roof if I didn't mention it's four tall and then on the fourth block is where you make your ceiling and then what you want to do is you want to come out three from the roof one two three then you want to make sure it's in the middle and the middle would be one if you look it's three so in the middle would be one on each side and then just like this if I can get the sticky piston to work right yep come on there we go the sticky piston should look like that Oh, and I would get rid of it. There we go. <laughs> now it should look like that. You can get rid of all these. So it's three blocks back from this back wall. And then extend this out all nine besides the middle one. And I actually, should we leave the middle one? No, we should not. I was debating if you wanted to or not. It's all a matter of opinion, though. You can do what you want. So now... Again, behind each sticky piston, we're going to be adding the redstone repeaters and redstone. So I'm going to take your redstone repeaters out, place them behind each uh, sticky piston, and just keep doing this, fill and connect all of them with redstone. Now we're over here on this side of the wall. We want to add a lever, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bookshelf here, just so I know where my lever is. You can always go back and change it later. And then on the other side. You want to place a redstone torch on that same block 
And this is very important because this comes in, this is a crucial part of the entire bookshelf process. And then you want to extend this out and then connect redstone just like this, connecting all the way back to the, uh, to the redstone torch. But this part's very important. We're going to get rid of this one right here and we're going to place this one block. It can be any block. It doesn't really matter what you use. And then on this other side, you want to place a redstone torch just like that. If you look, this redstone torch is off. If, if you see that, don't worry, that's how it's supposed to be. So, this is very important. If you do it this way, uh, if you look, the redstone isn't touching this block, so it's not going to work. The redstone has to be touching this block, just like you see here. That's very important. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. Okay, so now, these are going to be off at all times until the lever is flipped, and that's how we want it to be. And then... With these sticky pistons, you can place the glowstone right here on each sticky piston. Everything's looking pretty good so far. And then we want to connect the redstone to these pistons down here. And these pistons want to be on at all times. This is very important because then when we flip this switch or flip the lever, these are going to come down. The glowstone is going to come out. This hot, and that's how we want it to be. Okay, so. This should work. We're going to test it. We're going to fill in a lot of the space right here that we got out, that we got rid of earlier, just so it looks a little bit better. And then you can also either place bookshelves right here, just like I did on the other side, just like this. You can place any kind of block there, it doesn't matter. And then something's not seeming right, so we're going to come down here. Oh, we placed a block right here, which made it to where these pistons couldn't come up. That's what the problem was. So we fixed that problem. A good thing, because that was a major problem, if we want to fix that. And we're just going to place this right here. And then place a redstone repeater right here, just so that we can place this block now without any problems. Alright, so as you can see, it's looking pretty good. It should work once we press that switch. So let's test it out. Boom! Look at that. It's working perfectly. So I hope you guys like the video, guys. Please rate and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.